What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself. It's 6.30 in the morning, Saturday, and this is our very first day of the Nine Man National Tournament. If you want to learn more about Chinese Nine Man Volleyball, make sure you check out the video linked in the description box. This year, Nine Man Nationals is in Oakland, which is just down the street from me. So it felt really great to sleep in the comfort of my own bed. And now I'm ready to go. Representing Elevate as always with my Chinese Pride Bold t-shirt. And let me show what I packed for the day. So we got these two Hydro Flask bottles with pre-made Gatorade in the fridge so they're nice and cold. We got two protein shakes to drink throughout the day inside the gym bag. Today I'm gonna try out the KDs. Uh, they got tons of shock absorption, very durable, and the basketball shoes, which usually are great indoor and outdoor. And I don't mind messing these up because they already look pretty ugly. We got my Viper. I think it's called the Hyper Ice Viper, which is a vibrating foam roller. That's this, got the backup tripod. Bands for warm up, portable battery to keep my cameras charged. Sour patch. This is my emergency energy. And we got this custom massage ball. I just drew this last night because I needed a new massage ball because I lost it. And I'm going to be bringing this cart because I'll be carrying my gym bag and my tripod and some other things. And I don't feel like lugging that on my back. I usually make a checklist the night before about all the things I need to bring, and then I double check them in the morning. So I think I got everything. Now it's time to go. You're gonna wish me luck, Uno? Hmm? Uno? Oh, you wanna snuggle with the camera, huh? Before tournaments, I always love going to the McDonald's, the Golden Arches. This is one of my favorite pre-tournament meals. We got sausage brisket, sausage egg McMuffin, and hash browns. And we got my black coffee. I usually get a regular coffee to get a little extra caffeine, but because we'll be in Chinatown, I'll be drinking a lot of milk tea, so I don't want to overdo it on the caffeine. And I actually feel pretty awake. I slept, actually no, I didn't sleep well last night, but I was rested for seven to eight hours. I guess I slept a little better than I usually do, but in general, I don't sleep well before tournaments because even at the age of 36, I still get excited to play which is awesome but i do feel pretty rested uh, so i don't really need that extra caffeine boost so i feel good now we got to go to chinatown oakland just packed my volleyball cart got my bag tripod jacket and extra food down there we have officially arrived in a downtown Chinatown. What's crazy is I've been coming here since I was a little baby. This is before there was a bunch of Chinese restaurants in where we lived in Fremont. So we had to go all the way to Oakland, so a 40 minute drive just to eat some good Chinese food. And that's one of my favorite spots over there, Gum Gok, which is like really good Hong Kong style food. So we got the Lion Dance crew ready for the opening ceremony. We got really lucky with this weather. 10% chance of rain according to the weather, but looks like it's gonna be great today. You see how the city has blocked off the street. And we have a sighting of our very first nine man court. Let's take a closer look. This is as ghetto as it gets right here. This is original nine man. We even got cars keeping the net down. We got a rope tied to this meter here. And most importantly, play on asphalt. And you see how it's a little uneven. This is part of the skill of Nine Man. You see how it's a little curved, it's higher in the center and lower here. Finally found our campsite. Made it just in time for the opening ceremony. Two years delay. We're glad to be on the streets of Oakland. First time outdoors in many years. Welcome, everybody. 
everybody. All right, Kaylin, spawn the spurt. <laughs> Dude, Chris. Oh, man. Feeling good, body's feeling good, so excited to play. How about you? What's up? Hey, excited to play. Yeah. <laughs> So every year they have a little goodie bag from the tournament hosts and they give us this little sports bag. That's pretty cool. Let's see what's inside. Sometimes they put a little treat, like a whistle. Ooh. So it looks like they're selling the apparel here. And this is the official tournament guide. And that's a map of the, the courts. Right now we're chilling right now on the side because this is where we're going to be playing. So we're going to be refing this one and then we're playing. Our schedule this morning was off ref play. It sucks because you just end up standing and sitting and getting all anxious, ready to play. But at least you get a little bit of rest. I always prefer to play first. Right now we're refing this match here. Let's see how this rally goes. Titan rally. Oh, I gotta get warmed up. Got a foam roll, get stressed out before the game. So we just finished our first match. We won the first one pretty handily and the second one was a nail biter. We really, totally relaxed. But the other team missed like seven serves in a row on game point. That was crazy. Very uh, mentally fragile. So we got a little lucky with that, but we can't we can't mess around and relax like that. But it's good that we at least deal with that early in the tournament on the first day. So mentally we can prepare for that because the teams are gonna get tougher from here on. We're off this round and then we play right after. Now I think we're gonna go get some Hong Kong cafe food that we ordered. I forgot my wallet. Do you guys have money I can borrow? So we're off this round, as I said earlier, and we're gonna go pick up some lunch at a local Hong Kong cafe, try to support some local restaurants in Chinatown called St. Anna's Cafe. So if you're in Oakland, downtown Chinatown, this is the spot to go. How's it going? I'm good. I didn't recognize you around here. So, here are all the to-go bags we pre-ordered. Can't wait to eat it. joke this is really good I've had a lot of Hong Kong cafe food this is definitely one of the better ones St. Anna's cafe in Oakland Chinatown make sure you hit them up we got this traditional Hong Kong style milk tea can't wait to drink this <laughs> our center had a brilliant idea well how can we wear those gloves in the beginning so show us a demo show us a demo how's it feel 
Pretty good. Oh, so much grip. Maybe Mars should wear it to actually grip, like grip the fastball oh, even more. Shit. Dude, that'd be nasty. Did we just reinvent Nightman? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're waiting for this game to end, and I was a good boy. I only drank half my milk tea, even though I wanted to drink the whole thing. Because I'm, I'm here to play. I'm here to win. Let's see how this rally goes. It's been a good game so far. Warm up time. for us historically with how we've struggled a little bit when we make mistakes and start to get down ourselves but even when we were down we came back up we had a lot of lead changes and it was just really good to see kind of that next level and we got some good new talent you saw the outside from the last game Ryan super explosive we got Nick it's gonna be a good tournament this, this is a good start for us as we're waiting I actually decided to not finish my spaghetti because I do want to go to jump later but I will finish my milk tea which is really good, the Hong Kong style milk tea. It's Wat Wat Day, which means it's like smoother than their Taiwanese milk tea, which is what most people drink here in the mainland USA. But I will drink a protein shake because I still gotta get my 170 grams of protein per day and even more on tournament days because I'm burning so many calories. But more importantly, gotta keep my muscles fresh and recovered. I'm probably the most monotone vlogger out there. So as I'm vlogging, I met other vloggers from a big YouTube channel that you guys know, Out of System, the three guys. Micah Ma'a, Gage, and Joe Worsley. We got some staff there. We are and not them. <laughs> <laughs> it's them with long hair. So they're gonna interview me for their channel, for their vlog, to actually promote Chinese Nightman. So I'm excited to share the world of Nightman Volleyball, but also to help promote volleyball and, and Asian American athletes. All right, we got a special performance from the local Chinatown Chinese opera, Trung. <laughs> I just reapplied sunscreen. I don't know if I look like that. <laughs> Warm up time, trying to play again. We got out of system out here, as you can see, shooting some tutorial videos for Nine Man. Vlog on vlog crime. <laughs> Just finished that third one. We are clicking on all cylinders. And then the wind started picking up, so I whiffled some balls, but I still gotta make better choices on those, or at least find a way to keep those in. 3-0 today so far, so we're gonna guaranteed gold for playoffs, but we still need to win the fourth one to get a top seed. When we do crossover, we wanna stay in the top seed so we get an easier first round. As you can see in the morning, it was nice and shady over here, and you cannot underestimate the power of the sun, so we're going to shift to the enemy side, that side. As you can see, it's starting to get late. It's about four o'clock. This game just ended. Got one more match. Hopefully we can go undefeated, get a good seed tomorrow for our challenge pools, and then get an even better seed uh, for playoffs. And we're already guaranteed gold division. Tomorrow's just for seeding. And my body's feeling good. So let's get a good warm up in, try to seal the deal. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There's a net on the floor. Oh, there we go. 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 Oh
Hey, everyone just stay disciplined. Finish out this yeah. day strong. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. 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 Stay talking. Let's get some momentum into tomorrow. Let's Let's, go. Smart. Let's get it. Let's get it. Power three. One, two, three. Power. Let's go, Chris. If you trip. Reset it. Oh, Yes. I serve. Outside. Wait on it. Angle. So, not the finish that we wanted. Lost a little folks at the end, and but we went 4-0 today, so it's good to be undefeated and get rested. Body feels really good and just the, the benefit of staying in shape. So got to drink another protein shake and I can't wait to eat the other half of my big spaghetti dish. And I still got to walk around and watch the other games. We just been playing nonstop. Didn't really get a chance to walk around and hang out. Did take a lot of fan photos today. So looking forward to showing you guys that and all the fans who are watching this vlog. Thanks for saying hi. Thanks for supporting the channel and thanks for being part of Nightman. Game to visit today. Everybody. The return of Yang. <laughs> coming soon. The Korean drama on Netflix coming soon. No, no, I'm retired. <laughs> See ya. That was super fun to finally walk around and just watch all the teams, meet some fans, and just be immersed in this nine-man volleyball atmosphere. This Chinatown ghettoness. Good volleyball. I finally get to eat go, go, go. the second half of my spaghetti in the last match of the day. What a way to end the day here. It's been a good game so far. Time to pack up. These shoes actually felt really good today on the asphalt. Good grip, great shotgun throw, and still had another spring. These are nine man hands playing on the, the asphalt all day, but I miss this feeling. All packed up, time to walk back to the car. Now that we're over, I finally get a chance to watch some of my friends play. Also get a chance to watch Sky, which is the other team in our Nine Man Inc. organization. It's good to come out and support them. So I was on my way home and I was thinking about what am I going to get? And I'm super tempted always after tournaments to just go all out 
double cheeseburgers, loaded fries, but I know that's gonna make me jump lower tomorrow. So, I thought, why don't I stop by and get some sushi? Get some carbs to refill your glycogen, high in protein, and a little bit lower in calorie compared to a fatty burger. This is one of my go-to spots. My wife and I usually go here together, so Jamie, I hope you're not watching because I know you'd be upset if I went here by myself. And the sushi chef said he got really good tuna in today, so he's gonna give me a big cut of it. Can't wait to try it out. First up, miso soup. We got our green salad, fresh cucumbers, Japanese cucumbers, and their salad dressing is so good. It's like light, little sesame in there. I don't know what they do, but can't wait to eat this. The main dish has arrived. Look at that tuna. Beautiful, nice glossiness. Sushi rice, they got the best sushi rice here. Can't wait to eat it. Then we got the alma ebi, which is the raw shrimp nigiri. And the fried shrimp heads, one of my favorite appetizers. And look at this tuna. Look at this tuna, come on. For those sushi fans out there, you can't tell me that this doesn't look delicious. Look at the damage here. That was so good. I ate all the sushi rice. This is how you know the sushi rice is good because I just killed it. Usually a lot of people will leave the rice because it has no flavor, but they really have a great balance between sugar and vinegar in the sushi rice and the tuna was just excellent. Damn, that sushi hit the spot. I know I said I was gonna try to keep it light and healthy, but I gotta finish on a sweet note. So I'm at Baskin Robbins now. I'm gonna get me a junior scoop of the mint chocolate chip. Oh, 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 look at this, mint chocolate chip and Rocky Road. I'm gonna eat it in my car like a guilty person. I just took a hot bath, then I took some time to stretch down, then I hypervolted my entire body to make sure that I stay loose and my muscles are ready for tomorrow. Now it's time for the day one recap. This feels like a different POW team. I know we have a few new pieces, but in general, we've historically struggled to mentally stay in it. Usually when we make a few mistakes, we get down on ourselves. And that even happened in some of our practices leading up to this point. So it's really great to see us mentally stay very steady, especially against Mad Dogs, which was the toughest team in our pool, and not let them get to us. We sided out, we moved on from the mistakes, and we kept siding out, and we eventually came out on top. My body feels really good. If you guys remember from my vlog two years ago in 2019 Nationals, I had some pretty bad knee problems that were affecting me on the second half of day two and on the last day. So it's been so great to really focus hard on rehabbing my knee in the last two years to be able to enjoy playing pain-free. It's only 9.30 p.m. and I don't know what time we're playing tomorrow. I'm gonna still try to get there at eight uh, just to get an early start of the day and record some footage, watch some more nine-man volleyball regardless of when we play. But I am exhausted. Even though I barely played two matches today, I think just being in a very large social environment, I met probably like 40, 50 different fans, took a bunch of photos, which I never mind doing because I love interacting with my fans, but being an introvert, it does get tiring. And then being in the sun all day, which is something that I'm not used to. So even though it's only day one, I'm pretty physically and emotionally tired. So I'm gonna sleep early tonight and to make sure I have enough energy for tomorrow. Thanks for following along. We'll see you guys tomorrow.